Running a media server on your NAS is one of the most common use cases that most people have. However, there are three main media servers that you can use, Plex, MB, and Jellyfin. Which one should you use? That's what we're gonna take a look at in this video. But before we get there, let's look at how they work, their setup process, and an overall comparison of all three. Before we get started, I just wanna mention that we'll be looking at this in terms of Synology devices, but there are tons of installation steps that I have on my website that you can follow if you have any other operating systems that you wanna run any of these servers on. All right, so first of all, they are all media servers. So what I mean by that is you'll go through and configure the media server on your NAS itself and the actual server will function on your NAS only. From there, you'll connect to it with client devices. So you can use your mobile phone, you can use a Fire TV or an Apple TV or any smart TV really. And what you'll do is you'll actually stream media from that server to your local clients. Now when you set up the actual server, what you'll do is you'll link it to a media folder. That media folder will contain all of your movies, TV shows, music, whatever you have. And what it will do is it will crawl that data into whatever media server you're using and it will display it through its user interface on all of the client devices and then you can stream the media from there. If multiple people will be accessing the server, what you can do is create different user profiles for all of your users so it ensures that each of your users will use a different user account and they can all access the same media. From a similarity perspective, that's the core of what all of these media servers are. However, there are some pretty significant differences and those differences are what's gonna determine which option you should use. So first, from an installation perspective, you install Plex and MB by installing the package in Synology's Package Center. All you have to do is search for it, install it, and then the final step is actually to go into each and configure the actual permissions so that the user account can access your media. So for Plex, what you have to do is give the Plex media server a user access uh, to your media files so that it could read the data. And for MB, you have to give the MB user account access. I've written instructions for both of them, I'll leave in the description. But the point is that you have to ensure that the user account can access your media so that it can actually read it as soon as you launch the application. This is where Jellyfin is different. There is not an official Jellyfin package as of the recording of this video. So the easiest way to set it up is by using Docker. Now, your comfort level in Docker doesn't really matter because for the most part, you're just gonna go in, copy and paste a Docker Compose file that I'll leave in the description of the video, connect to your media files by potentially changing that Docker Compose file to ensure that it can access the media, but then you'll run the container, log into it, set up Jellyfin, and go from there. Now, from a setup perspective, they're all, for the most part, the same. You go in, create a user account, you have to connect the media that you want to, so you'll have a different folder for each, meaning that your movies, TV shows, music, whatever it is, you'll create different uh, content types for each of them. And then what happens is as soon as the setup process is over, you'll be brought to the dashboard and all of those media files will start to crawl in. Now, depending on how much media you have, the process to actually display that content might take longer if you have a large library. For the most part, all three of them will function around the same period of time, but it really is reliant on how much data you have in those media files. So in summary, installation perspective, Plex and MB is a little easier to set up than Jellyfin is. Jellyfin uses Docker, Plex and MB use a package. There are unofficial Jellyfin packages, but I don't really wanna push you to an unofficial source, so you can find those online if you wanna install it that way. Now let's look a little deeper into Plex versus MB versus Jellyfin so that we can look at some of their other differences. So first up is Plex. Plex is the king in this space. So for the most part, over the past 10 or 15 years, if you've wanted to set up a media server, Plex is the name that you'll most of the time hear. It has longevity, it works well, and it has a lot of compatibility with different client devices and different servers. Now that doesn't necessarily make Plex better than any of the others. And from a media server perspective, Plex functions just as well as the others do. But there's a few downsides. The first is if you want full functionality, you have to download the Plex Pass. The second is that over the years, Plex has gotten more and more and more bloated. What I mean by that is as soon as you launch the user interface, you're brought to a ton of different media files. You might view this as an advantage. You can literally just start to watch live TV, 
directly from the Plex interface without having to do any other configurations. So if something like that appeals to you, you might just wanna go right ahead and install Plex. If you're somebody that just wants to get to your media files, you're gonna be navigating a ton of other things that you won't necessarily have to if you use MB or Jellyfin. So that naturally leads us into MB. Now MB is extremely similar to Plex. Honestly, Jellyfin is extremely similar to Plex too. But MB is similar in the sense that it's a free to use media server, but if you want the enhanced functionality, you have to purchase MB Premier. Where MB is different is it doesn't have that bloated user interface that Plex has. So it has similar functionality, but it doesn't have that bloated user interface. So navigation wise, it's really a little bit easier to use. Unlike Plex, MB is a lesser known name. So if you run into any problems, not that I think you will, getting support might be a little harder than it is for Plex. Plex has a huge community, the biggest community in all three of these. The third media server we're gonna take a look at is Jellyfin. Now Jellyfin is a fork of MB. So what I mean by that is in the past, what ended up happening is that the code base was forked and MB went in one direction and Jellyfin went in the other. For that reason, Jellyfin is extremely similar from a user interface perspective to MB. However, it is a community driven application. So what I mean by that is the updates for it is volunteer based. Where Plex and MB have dedicated teams that work on these products, Jellyfin is an open source alternative that is community driven. From a simplicity perspective, Jellyfin is by far and away the most simple. What I mean by that is through the actual user interface, the navigation aspects. If you just wanna to get to your media and you want nothing more, Jellyfin is the answer. It's also entirely free. All of the features that are generally behind paywalls for Plex or MB is completely free if you use Jellyfin. With that said, on Synology devices, it is a little harder to set up than Plex and MB is. So now that we looked at some of their differences, let's take a look at which is best for you. I've broken this down into three categories. The first is that if you want simplicity, meaning from an installation perspective, you should go with Plex or MB based on the user interface. Check out the user interface, see which you like better, and then install that one. Next, if you want simplicity from a user interface perspective, I would go with Jellyfin or MB. The deciding factor should be if you want to use any of the MB Premier features that are free on Jellyfin, or if you're intimidated by the Docker setup process that you have to do with Jellyfin. The user interface for both is very similar because they are a fork of one another. So the deciding factor should be some of those advanced features that MB Premier has that are free for Jellyfin as well as the setup process. Finally, if you wanna avoid all of this and you just wanna go with the most trusted name in the space, I would go with Plex. Plex is, as I said earlier, the king. So my personal pick, which do I like best? Personally, and these are really just my personal thoughts, I think that if you're gonna use or want to use MB, for the most part, you should try Jellyfin first. It's free, it's very, very similar. And while the setup process is a little more advanced, the new container manager application makes the setup process very easy because you can just paste in a Docker Compose file. So for that reason, I think Jellyfin is better than MB, at least from the perspective of which you should try first. Next, I personally think Plex has gotten to be way too bloated over the years. There's just way too much. As soon as I log into my dashboard, I'm just blasted with tons of different media, honestly, media that I'm not really looking for. So I prefer Jellyfin over Plex from a UI perspective. And since I prefer Jellyfin over MB, at least from an initial setup perspective, my pick is Jellyfin. Now that doesn't mean it's best, but for my specific use cases, what I'm looking for in a media server, Jellyfin checks all those boxes. It's also free, which, you know, never hurts. Now, the reality is that they're all similar and your experience is really not going to be drastically different depending on whichever option you use. So you could even try out all three of them if you want and pick for yourself. The user interface is really the biggest difference between all three of these because that's what you're going to be interacting with to get to your media. From there, they're just streaming the media. They're not drastically different. With that said, if you have a NAS that supports hardware transcoding, and you want to set up hardware transcoding, it's free on Jellyfin and it's not free on Plex or MB. You have to have MB Premier or the Plex Pass. So let me know in the comments which option you think is best, which you prefer, any similarities or differences that you think I missed. And if not, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.